one of the all-time great NBA officials, 25 years in the league, now working for us. Steve, you heard Mark and Jeff talk about some of the relationship woes that are going on. What do you think of their comments, and what do you think the situation is right now in the league? Yeah, I couldn't agree with Mark and Jeff more. You see, referees in all sports, not just basketball, react to how people treat them. If they're treated with respect on the floor, respect will be given. But unfortunately, what we're seeing, I think, is a high level of disrespect and really unprofessionalism. Um, the narrative has been player-referee relationship and how that has to mend. I contend it's a lot more than that. I contend it's player on player and even player on coach, as we've seen this past week. So when meetings come up at the All-Star break, I wouldn't want to really be in the meeting with the player on player. Can you imagine if you're trying to get in my locker room, now we're going to be sitting in the same meeting? But I think the players have to meet themselves. There might be a level of frustration going on here. Some of the players, what, what their complaint is, is that they feel like they want to talk to the officials more, and often the official will just say, enough, I don't want to hear, stop. I don't want to. They, they want to have a little more dialogue, communication. That's not always an easy thing. No, Mike, but the thing is, if, we, if you approach it in that respectful manner, I don't know too many officials that I work with or even on the staff right now, that if you approach it just in the manner of you just said, Mike, hey, can I talk to you about it, Joe or Harry or George, fine. But the way they're coming in and how aggressive they are, it's something where the official has to say stop. Or it even could be a fact that this player could be complaining the whole game, and you're not going to listen to it every time there's a dead ball, as we just saw with the Kevin Durant play. And, Steve, to me, why do, why do they take so much, though? Because the NBA would tell you that technicals are down and objections are down. But why, why do officials take so much? You know, it's funny. It's, it, Jack Madden, an old-time referee, once told me, he says, we just try to be nice guys sometimes too much. We're human beings. We want to be liked. We want to just make sure the game goes and has its flow. Not everybody really, like Joey Crawford and myself, like to get into the mix of things. But most guys will just try to like, calm, try to calm the player down. The funny thing is, is the players who are complaining the most about There's these technical fouls, if you look at it, perennially, they're the leaders in technical fouls. So, of course, they're going to complain about the referees. Well, Steve, let me ask you. Uh, player X in the middle of a game, you're referee. You make a call. He begins to berate you and disrespect you and cuss you out. How do you handle that? Uh, immediate technical foul and possible ejection, depending what he said to me. All right, Steve Jarvey, thanks as always for your expertise.